<sighs> Hello, it is me once again, back with the Kerbals. Um, Kerbal Space Program. I was, um, the other day with the other video, I intentionally um, only used the bits that are available in the 1.3, the demo package, just to show you what is possible. You can get to the moon, you can do all this bits and bobs with the free version. But um, why don't I showcase a couple of uh, extras today? So, uh, first of which being the aircraft hangar. So basically, it's um, sort of like it's building more on a sort of horizontal plane, and you get a couple of ooh, fuel tanks on there. If I'm not being a spaz, I'm being a spaz. What are the odds? Click on there. You bugger. So, um, get some canard symmetry. Some canards. They will help us maneuver. What is that? No. I don't know what that is. I've got so many parts here because I've got the mods installed. This is the major thing. This is what I will be covering today. All the mods I have for this game now. Uh, I don't know. I'll stick that on there, I guess. No, that looks gay. Right, we'll lose that. Um, Detachable nose cone. Er? Um, we'll just get some propulsion on here. We'll have one of them. And uh, should we have a nose cone? We better do, really, hadn't we? We need some landing gear. Although planes have been notoriously hard to fly. I'll tell you what, this is possibly the best plane ever, but instead, I'm going to load one. My Instead of untitled, it's my fun titled spacecraft. There we go, here's one I made earlier in true Blue Peter style. So, let's uh, get out to the runway. Okay, Dex, oh, we're rolling already. <laughs> we're off. Uh, set throttle up a bit, traction control on. We're not traction control, you know, stability control. So you can see the canards there moving and my ailerons on the wingtips. Unfortunately, um, I'm a bit of a spaz. I don't know if you noticed, but um, I've had real trouble getting the sort of ailerons, the flappy doodads, to um, sit right on the edge of the wing. So instead I've mounted them on tails, which is all good for stability anyway. Right. Fire up the quattro. Let's give it the beans, try and keep it on the runway. And about 100 meters per second. That's plenty enough speed for a takeoff. And here we go. So there we go. Landing gear up, if you please. Lovely. There we go, we're flying. So I've kept it with the stability control on now, so um, yeah, it's a bit safer. But we can turn it off and we can turn far more uh, acutely, but it's a bit um, squirrely in the air. There we go, planes. I mean, if I were particularly ambitious, I could then sort of create a plane with, like a space plane, I suppose. Not like the Virgin Galactic. Let's throw it back a bit and get the landing gear back down. Let's see if I can land. Turn, you bastard. So, yeah, um, I mean, you could create a space plane with, like, rockets underneath or with the plane with rockets on it with, like, uh, conventional jet engines, because you can see I only use the smidge of fuel, so jet engines are fantastic at uh, sort of fuel conservation and like fuel efficiency, but you can't use them in space because it being a combustion engine, you need um, sort of air. It's going alright, oh shit, nope. Come on now, nice and gently. Oh shit, something broke off. Right, I've got no engines but I'm just rolling. Wait for um, what broke off? Something went bang when I landed. Was it my engine? Has my engine come off? I think I twatted the engine off. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. It's come screeching to a halt, I think. So there we go. Planes are possible if you're not a complete retard like myself. But there we go. So I'll end that flight. So. There be planes, y'all. Uh, we go back to the space center because what I really wanted to do is go to uh, Minmus, which is not the moon; it's further out than the moon. What we do here, if I load one, here's one I didn't make earlier. Here's one that I got through the mods. Yes, if you have the full version, it makes getting the mods very easy. And look at that; that actually looks like a rocket, <laughs> like a proper rocket. 
also looks like a giant wang as well, which is what I kind of look for on a rocket. But um, a wang plus boobies, which is nice. So, let's go to Minmus. It is the second moon out. It is much further out than uh, the Mun. I believe it's called the first moon. So if we look at the map, there's the moon. There's um, debris I've got floating around it. But then if we go out, here in the full game we have... There it is. There is Minmus. So, we will try and get out to Minmus. Much further out than the first one. I think that's... Um, yeah, the bits out there, that is... Um, yeah, that's a rocket that got lost in space. It will catch up with the Earth. I will go and rescue it again at some point, maybe, when docking comes in. You see, um, the, it's quite a bit like Minecraft in that um, if you buy the full game, it's not even the full game. I've got to stop saying that. It's if you um, donate into the, um, if you donate to them, then you get access to all the updates going forward. Is the thing right? So, what we do, you can see. Minmus isn't exactly on sort of like a level orbit whereas the moon, the Mun is on, is sort of like entirely parallel with the equator Minmus is a bit on the cock so stability control, we don't want RCS yet and uh, ignition much more powerful rockets huge amount of acceleration going on Wobbly. There's no tail fins on it, but we don't really need them. Don't get 200 meters per second already. And then hopefully I can show you. I've actually learned what some of the um, symbols on the uh, on the HUD down here mean, and it, they are entirely invaluable. They are really good. There we go, we're almost doing 500 meters per second already. We're not even out of the atmosphere yet. So we are absolutely storming. So there we go, our fuel tanks and the boosters are about to run out. They have, we'll drop them. On we go with the uh, 1980s vibrator. What is our maximum height now? Our apocry, I think it's called. Or a podgy as it can be called, which is where I think um, the sort of games company, you know, Commander Keen, Apogee and all that sort of business, I think that's where it came from, which I never knew. I thought it was just a funny word or something they made up. Shows you what an idiot I am. Um, right, let's turn to 270 degrees and get traction, not traction control, get our um, stability control on to try and hold us there. I believe our fuel tank was about to run out as well. Oh, we got, oh no, we're burning through a second tank. So now we're accelerating up to about two and a half thousand meters per second where we will achieve orbit. You can see um, my sort of like the rocket flames flapping around there. That is because I'm out. It's getting a bit squirrely now I've ran out. Detach. And off we go again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, we got a bit out of shape there. Too much thrust off the line there. So we'll get ourselves uh, steadied again and slowly increase the throttle and off we go. So yeah, we're looking for about two and a half thousand meters per second. Then we will achieve orbit. Then uh, we will do our... See what I should want to do, because it's not quite even. Whereabouts is our rocket now? We are here. So if I go roughly uh, 180 degrees from there, and then see if we line up. It's quite close actually. I think yeah, okay, we're just gonna do um we're just gonna perform our sort of like single boost all the way out to Minmus in one hit now. So here we go, same again, we just give it the boost until we our orbit extends way out until we're looking for this purple here. Oh shit, shit. Slow it down. See if we had carried on we would have interacted with the moon. We're gonna sort of just miss the moon on our journey. Okay, so that's where we're going to intersect the Minmus's orbit. Okay. So, um, okie dokes. When we get out there, see our height is going to be slightly different. You can see, because um, the orbit is slightly cock -a hoop So we will correct that. With a couple of really easy little tips, makes it quite easy to um, get around. 
what we'll do is well, I will quick save it by pressing the yeah, F5 key. That's a bit of a Brucey bonus as well. You can save and load now. So, I mean, um, typically I'll cock up a landing about three or four times. So we missed the moon. We're going out to uh, the outer edge. And what we'll do... Nearly there. We want to just make sure so we're right at the very peak. So you can see our speed because we're right at the very peak there. We'll slow it right down now. We're only doing 49 meters per second, which we'll go about a smidge more. Go directly overhead. Yeah, we're not quite in the orbit. We're very close though. We're close enough to do what I need to do. So we get out to the very edge. Okay, now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to, um, instead of just waiting, I could just accelerate time and then we'll just go spinning back to the Earth and come back out and then in and out and in and out until the sort of orbits would, until, yeah, basically we would hit that. But instead, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, create the orbit of Minmus. I'm going to go this way around the arc and smash into, not smash into it, that's a poor use of words. I'm going to gently land on it. So I spin myself around to 270 degrees so we're um, exactly perpendicular to the Earth. Slow down, slow down. Bloody steering. This thing really isn't very agile because it hasn't got any tail fins or any sort of. Uh, there we go. So entirely perpendicular to the Earth. You'll see. The Earth should be around here then. Oh, the Earth is somewhere. I've lost the Earth already. Oh, shit, this doesn't bode well. That's down there. Anyway, so we're exactly perpendicular to it. If you watch our orbit, when I give it the beans, now watch our blue orbit. And we're going to be going this way. I'll see. We're already on a collision course. That would that would have been with the moon, though. Sorry, the moon. But see that it's going to entirely line up with Minmus. Now, how great is that? Look, we've nearest damn it. We're a bit over there, but I mean, we've nearest damn it emulated that orbit perfectly. So, what we're going to do as well, you can still see we're cock a hoop. We're sort of entirely parallel with the equator of uh, Kerbal. But instead, what we're going to do because at the moment it's still saying that we're going to miss we're not going to hit um, Minmus so we'll speed it up until we want to wait till the paths cross like the apex of our orbit and Minmus's orbit we want to wait for them to cross and then I can do an adjustment boost Bloody sun on the way. I don't know. I'll get it close enough that we will get caught in. See, the problem is we've got to get fairly close because there's hardly any gravity on Minmus. So, um, nearly, nearly, nearly. That would do us. Uh, so, let's see. Um, we want to go directly, sort of like point towards the North Pole on the Earth. So, that should be the North part here. If I give it, oop, I'm either going to be entirely right or entirely wrong. I'll soon know and then I can adjust after that. So there we go. If we set ourselves there and then watch our blue orbit. See? Look at that. Ah, now we're on an intersection path. And now we're not for some reason. Um, see, there we go. Now we're just going to go zoop. But we're going a bit fast. If I can counteract because apparently we're going to miss, we're not actually going to go into the orbit of Minmus somehow, even though we're right on the same bloody path. We're just going to go around the outside of it. So, um, if I go to the 90 degree mark, that should be able to, yeah, 90 degrees, that should counteract my action. I can um, take a bit of speed out of it, hopefully narrowing our orbit in that path there, and then we will um, land on Minmus. Bloody rocket does not want to steer. So now if we counteract our motion, give it a bit there, a bit of the old rocket. There we go, perfect, there we go. So you can see now our orbit has changed, we haven't got a, a nice orbit all the way around now. Instead it will see where we will encounter Minmus and then escape Minmus, but basically we're going to be landing on it. So we're in a direct collision path, which is good. F5 to quick save that. And we've got plenty of fuel. We've got absolutely loads of it. We could probably um, land on Minmus, take off again, go land on Mun, sort of like the proper moon, and then 
get home with all the fuel we got. So there's the Earth, there's the first moon, uh, the Mun, and our moon should be. Is that it? No. It should be around somewhere. I'm sure I'll see it soon enough. I don't want to speed up time too much because otherwise I'll miss it and I just smash into the planet. Here we go, so now we should be... There we go. Right, we're now interacting with Minmus. We're now in its gravitational pull. Weak though it is, it's gonna it's gonna throw us out. We're just gonna go around the outside of it and then be on our way. So what I would do is we've now got a closing speed of like five hundred and fifty meters per second. That was like the speed we were going, at like the two fifty or well, two seven five plus the speed of the moon coming this way. So we have got a fair bit of closing speed. However, um it's not a lot all the way out here this far from the Earth. The gravity is pretty much nil and so we just have to counteract our motion by doing that. And that will slow our closing speed right down. Plus the Brucey bonus of it will straighten up our orbit, so we will definitely sort of bisect. We will definitely land on um Minmus. So we go, we're cutting away that motion. We're cutting away the, the speed. And you can see our orbit is getting closer. See it's starting to curve round. And it's gonna curve all the way around until can you see it? It would be in orbit, see there we go. So we'd now be in orbit around there, but we don't want that. We want to continue to counteract the um, our motion. So it's going to go very quick now, so that we take away all sideways motion out of our path, and we land pretty much straight. We go from here straight into the planet's surface. Have to be nice and gentle there. That's about it. So now, yeah, look at our orbit, as it were. Oh, look, we've got rockets there as well from um, when I uh, dropped some bits in there before. So yes, now basically we're going to, near as damn it, go exactly straight right down onto uh, the surface. So, can we see it yet? <laughs> I don't know why I can't see it still. <laughs> oh, there it is. There, there's Minmus. That's it. So a quick save, and we'll speed up time a smidge until we get a bit closer. Because we're still going very slow, because the gravity... Slow down, I click slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Bloody hell, nearly cocked that up then. Okay, so we're 24,000 meters from the surface. Um, there we go, there's a few bits over there before. That's um, where I've landed and have to drop fuel tanks before. I might have to do it again just because um, I've only got a smidge of this fuel tank left. Enough to um, counteract the movement. But I think what I'll do, i reveal um, this rocket's uh, pièce de résistance. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll lose. Um, the bell end of this 1980s dildo, revealing our launcher, our uh, moon lander. So what we would do is, um, I'm going to use up the fuel on these tanks first, and then I'm going to drop the tank. So we just have our lander, because I could land with this rocket just about. I'm sure it would be. Um, it's not the most stable of platforms to land on, though. So I'm just going to use the fuel, fuel up in it and um, just ditch it on the planet. All right, 9,000 meters. So that, that that we can see the nose cone dropping down quickly now. Oh shit! I've we're now <laughs> increasing height. I gave it too much of a boost. Ball bag. Right. Don't worry, the gravity will get us again. <laughs> that was a bit too much of a boost. Oh god. The gravity is so weak, the, the smallest of um, sort of blips will send you into orbit. Right, okay. So let's slow it down again. Right, so we're coming down there as damn it straight. I'll wait till I get a bit lower. This would be the first time I landed, I think, wouldn't it? I think um, in the first video I cocked it up and smashed it into the moon. There's the Earth over there. 
that would disappear in a minute behind that mountain on Minmus. Plenty of fuel. Should I try and land with this? No, I won't. Tiny little bit of fuel left in it, but um, mm, I'm so tight. I'm <laughs> just thinking, wow, I could probably sort of land with this and then we'll see if we can. No, fuck it, I'm gonna ditch it. Be gone, evil fuel tank. It's also handy, it works as a guide for us as well, like a depth guide. But um, yeah, so uh, we're going to land, so what do we need? We need our legs. Check that shit out. Now we have a proper lander, how cool is that? So, our fuel tank is now 80 metres away from us and accelerating. So we can tell when that smashes into the planet, we know um, how far away the surface is. Because it's not going to be zero metres, because we're on like a mountain. There we go. Oh, it just bounced. That was really close. I very nearly crashed then. We're on a bit of an incline. And cut the engines. There we are. It's bouncing off down the hill. Bye! Because it was going so slow it didn't destroy. Oh. Anyhow. We're on the damn surface of the moon, of a moon, of Minmars. So there we go. Um, unfortunately, uh, we can't sort of get out the rocket yet, do a bit of duty-free shopping. We can't do any of that, so uh, we've just got to make our way home, really. So, which way was Earth? It was behind that mountain over there, wasn't it? I'll see if I can zoom out a little bit. Oh, my finger's getting tired. See, you can zoom out quite a long way. It's a bumpy old moon. It's Minmus. Uh, well, there's the sun. Um, I'm on the dark side of the Minmus. There it is, over there. Right. So there we go. You can see it has seas as well, like frozen lakes. So, what do we do? My finger's so tired. We will zoom all the way back in. There we go. And I think we can say goodbye to Minmus for now. I'm sure we'll be back. Because the gravity is so low, this engine isn't very powerful. See, it hardly uses any fuel. But that's going to get us into orbit in no time at all. So we can pretty much just point at the planet Earth. Well, no, I'll do it properly. I'll get into the orbit properly and um, we get to Earth the honest way. Oh shit! What's happened to our orbit? I see we're already going to be way out of the atmosphere. Um. Uh, so if we go perpendicular to seventy. And try and get in orbit around Minmus. I don't know if it's going to take it. We're not going to go into orbit, are we? We're just going to escape it. Shit, in that case, I'm going the wrong way. Um, right. That's going to point straight at the Earth and fire the rockets. Just get us back somehow. Yeah, see, that's going to curb and escape. That's going to send us way out. At least this way it's going to pull us into the Earth's uh, gravity again. Or Kerbin's, rather. I keep saying the Earth. So now we're pointing bang at Kerbin, giving it the beans. Waiting for that to curve in so we're getting some kind of orbit towards Kerbin. Here we go. 
Thank God for that. Still going to escape curbing there. That's not good. Let's bend in a bit more. Going quite fast now. Doing like 500 meters per second. Oh shit! Our fuel tank's nearly out. Um, uh, I'm cutting the engines. Something's gone a bit wrong here. Um, why though? If we try and counteract our motion, that's just going to bring us back into the orbit. I think I'm going to skip time forward a bit until we at least get out of the orbit of um, Minmus. Okay, so uh, scarily, um, we're going to escape Kerbin's uh, gravity and we're going to be <laughs> in a different orbit. The Kerbin, we're just going to be orbiting the sun and way away away from Kerbin, which isn't good because I don't think these feathers would like uh, perusing deep space. Um, hmm, okay. I haven't got a lot of fuel left. I've got this one nip of fuel there, and then I've got um, uh, that fuel tank with the with my main module, and that's it. So I think right, okay. So now I'm. It's kind of an orbit around the sun. So now, okay, right. What if I entirely um, counteract my current movement? Surely the Earth would pick me up now. If I just try and stop in space, then the Earth's gravity would surely grab me. Ah, there we go. Look, we're curving more towards. That's good. Let's counteract all movement, so I just like stop in space, then surely the Earth would pick me up. God, that's <laughs> is that getting better? That's gonna that's gonna just fucking fling us towards the sun. Um, we keep going. I think this is good. Yeah, here we go. We are certainly curving more towards the earth. I just hope we've got enough fuel. The fuel tank's out. Shit. So with less than that, we've got one more fuel tank. Off goes the lander. And this is it. This is our last fuel. So we've got to hope this would get us 13, 11 million. I think we'll be alright. One point seven million. Oh no, we're gonna hit the moon. Oh shit. Maybe we won't. If I cut away the rest of our speed, maybe we'll just miss it. Yeah, that'll do. We'll just miss it. 246,000 meters. Yes, we just want to get about 40,000 metres off the surface, then the atmosphere will get us, and then it will rip us into the atmosphere. There we go, we're going to land. Ah, oh, thank God for that, we're, we're back home. We will be. I'll zoom right in now. Yeah, look, there we go. We're going to touch down about there. We're going to be going quite fast, though. I can't spare any fuel to sort of like try and... Oh, no, I've got loads of fuel. Okay, so, we're going home, lads. You will not be cruelly flung into outer space. We'll speed up time a bit because it's going to take us a hell of a time. There's the moon, which we just miss. Where's the earth? There's the earth. Slow us down up. Okay. So you can see the very thin atmosphere there. We're doing like 3,000 meters per second. Normally, if we were in, um, 
if we're coming into like the moon, we'd be dead already. Just because um, there'd be no way I could sort of counteract three over three thousand meters per second, three kilometers a second of movement. So uh, thankfully, at this current time, we don't have to um, sort of deal with uh, re-entry, like the heat from re-entry. Because you see our speed now, we're doing 3,000 meters per second, that's before we've hit the atmosphere. And although my engines are entirely off, <clears throat> if you watch our speed in a second... Well, it'll be about 10 seconds, I suppose. I'll save it there as well, quick save. No landing gear. So it's going to have to be a parachute landing. But that's fine. I might even... Well, this is a fairly flat-bottomed rocket. If I'm careful, I might be able to get it. So now watch our speed. It's starting to go down. And we're twisting arse first into the movement. But then, look at the speed now. It's starting to drop off. As we start to hit more and more air, the air is sort of counteracting against us. You can start to hear the, the whistling in the background of the air starting to hit us. And there we go, speed really dropping off quickly now. See, this is where the heat would come from. Sort of like the, the, the friction of the air on the chassis here, the sort of drag, um, would sort of both convert into movement energy, into kinetic energy, which would slow us down. See, look, we're nearly, we're way under a kilometre per second now. It would convert into that, plus it would also be converted into heat energy, which is why you hear it with like astronauts burning up and re entry. It's because of this, because when they start hitting the air, it drags them something chronic. So, it won't sl slow us down entirely, we'll still be doing like 100 meters per second or so. <laughs> it's dragging us around a bit, with a bit turbulence. So you've only got to turn down the engines a bit and then you start getting the gravity is so much stronger. It's a real bull bag to try and land on the Earth compared to landing on anywhere else. So we're going a bit that way. We'll try and counteract that movement slightly. There's our shadow. Damn it, the surface is falling away from me. Shit, wrong way, wrong way. Come on, just land it. Oh no, I'm taking off again. This is good. This is good. And cut the engines. Whoa, fuck. Shit's blown up. What blew up? I think it was the engine. I think I smacked the engine off the bottom. Yeah, we no longer have an engine, but look. We're back on Kerbin. Wilmy, Halford and Barvis live to pilot again another day and uh, write a book and sell it and make lots of money. And that would do us. That was quite good. So Minmus is up there somewhere but we cannot see it. So that would do us. Um, I'm sure I will keep you updated of all the major sort of changes uh, that happen. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Again, Kerbin Space Program. $15 um, to sort of buy into it, which will get you uh, the full game when it finally comes out. But it will also get you all the updates uh, here forward, which is still... I don't think this is Vaporware, because in the last uh, week they've released two updates. And sort of like quick um, quick fixes and plus the major 0.15 update. So yes, um, 
go play it and boldly go and so on and so forth. So, I will see you again. Goodbye.